both, okay? So tonight's gonna be a little different. I don't know if I've got any request out there. I'm coming here like just on the whim here uh, because, well, it's Saturday night and it's what I normally do. And there was one girl named Taletha who had reached out to me and she even joined a group yesterday because she wanted a reading and I missed it. But I think I actually have Taletha's, um, I think I have her horoscope information. If I do, I'm gonna look that over. If I get moved to, oh my gosh, I got a back itch. I swear, I will leave this show and go get a back scratcher if this doesn't stop. I swear, I'm, just, I'm letting y'all know. Like this better end. Like I'm, I, whatever this itching is, because I can't find my back scratcher. It's usually sitting right next to me and it's not. And, uh, I will leave your tails and go get that back scratcher. Just so you know, if I get up and run, y'all know my back is itching. I can't take it no more and I'm going to get the back scratcher. Just so you know. Okay. So let me tell you something. I have been forewarned by the gods, the gods of the universe. Anyway, it was actually at astro.com. But I, it, it, it just kind of warned me. You know, I got Jupiter sitting exactly on my ascendant right now. Exactly. And you know, sometimes, ooh, sometimes you don't realize how lucky you are. I had made a post on my page. It was just about the, you know, losing weight and whatever. And um, I realized that I'm, I've been very blessed. I'm very, very blessed in so many ways. And I mean, I just want you guys to know that I'm aware of, you know, whatever those blessings are. I, I whine about what I don't have, but I am really grateful for what I do have. And I realize how blessed I am as a person, as a woman, um, just even as a black businesswoman in America. I mean, it, it's just amazing that even we have this venue of coming on the internet and, you know, finding our, our tribe that way. It's so much different. And it, it's especially important for me because I, you know, I suffer from, or I did, I don't know how much I, I guess I do because I still don't go out and intermingle with people. But, you know, I have agoraphobia. A lot of people don't know that because I seem so expressive on inner, online. I got to stop shaking this. I saw this in my last video. Um, but truth is, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really shy, like to the point of agoraphobic. It's true. And so um, I, I actually, I, this is going to sound like, and the, the thing is, I was warned not to put on airs, and I'm not putting on airs. I really want you guys to know that. But the truth is, I don't leave my house unattended. Like, if I don't have a driver or someone to guard me, I don't leave my house. I don't. I know that sounds crazy, but I've been that way for years. I will not leave my house unattended. I just don't do it. Uh, and I thought I was imagining it and I'm not imagining it. Like today I, I checked and it's true. Like all of the secure, all of the guys who deliver packages for it, they all do. And I'm like, what is that? So I, I, I keep myself in my little bubble and it keeps me humble. And maybe that's why I think I preserved well because I stayed out of, out of garbage. Like I just didn't involve myself and I just don't. So anyway, one of the things it just said was just to be aware that, you know, don't put on airs or anything like that. And just, you know, accept the God and everybody. And I do, I feel like, you know, we all have the potential to do so much more than we even imagine we can do. Like, oh, just sometimes I stop and I think and to myself, what if I had given up at 500 pounds? or 500 plus, I'll never know how big I was. But what if I'd given up when I was laying in that bed and my legs were too swollen to stand and they had to come and pray over me? What if I had just given up? I couldn't shower. I, you know, you have no idea what I've been through. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I guess I am gonna write my book one day, but it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I want you guys to know I am blessed. And I'm grateful for every blessing uh, to myself, to my child. It's, it's just been an amazing ride. So, okay, let's look at where the planets are in the light sky, because I know they're out there. And um, let's see, we've got tonight, 
Oh, and by the way, if you want to get a reading, people, let me know who you are and I will hit you up with a reading. Believe me, I will. So where the planets are tonight, Sky, we've got the sun at 26 degrees of Aquarius. So we almost at 27 degrees. We're like at the very last moments of Aquarius. So suck it up all the goodness and light that we've got there in Aquarius. And you know, the moon is at 29 degrees of Scorpio. And I had made a pre-video on Instagram and said that, you know, I was funny looking. I could not find a picture that looked well. I couldn't even find like a filter that could work well. It either, like I'm already so pale, right? So most of those filters pale you out. And then the ones that make you look brown, it makes me look like I'm painted. Like literally it looked like I had like uh, like brown face and I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And uh, so it was one of those days, like I couldn't find anything. I just had to be myself, which was kind of like this, you know, it's not my usual brash blonde self. So it's one of those days, if that makes sense. The moon is square the sun and the moon is at 29 degrees of Scorpio and the sun is at 26 degrees of Aquarius. That's a square. And it's, you know, it's, it's a really strange square because both the sun and the moon are being supported. But what I mean is Mars at 29 degrees of uh, Sagittarius is supporting that sun at 26 degrees of, of Aquarius, that they're sextile even now. Uh, you know, yeah, they are, they're like two minutes apart, they're sextile. So the sun is being supported by Mars, there's action, there's maybe even assertiveness, perhaps even aggressiveness. Some people might have been really pushing for their dreams and their hopes, their desires, their ambitions, their aspirations. I know one girl, Charity Barrett, Charity Barrett, I don't think I have your horoscope because if I did, girl, I'd check and see if I do. Just top and push it. She got her little diamond lab. She's serious about making her money. I love that, okay? Let's see if I got Charity in here because if I do, I want to fight her. <laughs> top and push it. And she, you know, she's a little millionaire person. But, you know, she was talking about no matter how much you make or what to do, there, we all got struggles. And maybe that's what it, it was warning me about tonight, about heirs. You know, that's something that we all have that struggle, no matter where, how far up we go or how low we go. So the moon, by the way, is also being supported, but it's being supported by Saturn at 26 degrees at, of uh, Capricorn. So the, they are sextile. So the sun is sextile Mars and the moon is sextile of Saturn. It's just setting up a really weird tug of war. And some people might really feel that. Like the emotions are at odds with the self maybe. Like I really feel like I should have came out here and been blonde or a redhead or something, but no, no. I almost came out in all black and I stopped myself. And I think that's Saturn sextile the moon in Scorpio. Anytime the moon is in Scorpio. By the way, that moon is sitting exactly on my natal Venus. So the desire to be all in black is very, very strong right now. Just so you know. Okay, so and the moon in Scorpio at 29 degrees, by the way, is a major fate degree. Fate degrees. I would, you know, gosh, I got a whole minute to get through this. I would say just don't get into arguments. If someone's irritating you, walk away. I mean, there could be sexiness going on too. Just so that you know, there's an undercurrent of sexiness happening. I mean, is anyone else feeling the sexiness? Am I the only one feeling the sexiness? There's an undercurrent of sexiness happening. And I think that happens with squares and the sun and, and a moon are square. I dare say some people have been getting busy. It's been, it was Valentine's Day yesterday and day the aftermath. It's, you know, it's just happening. Okay, so... I told you I was going to be talking about love and stuff tonight, right? So, yes, there are quite a number of people getting busy out there. I'm just saying that's just what's going down at this time. Mercury is at 12 degrees of uh, Pisces. It's not quite retrograde, but just know Mercury's about to go retrograde at any moment. Just know that. So if you have any thought in your mind or you got any deadline that you have to meet, or I think it's the 16th, we go today. <laughs> you better straighten your business out today because tomorrow, uh, I, I know I got orders I haven't even looked at. I haven't even been to check my PayPal, my business statement, nothing. 
I've been too busy working on other things. And that's what I mean. Get yourself together because we're going to retrograde. It's going to go all the way back to 28 degrees of Aquarius. So get your stuff together. I'm just saying, get those papers in order. I got papers I got to send out. You might find that over the next few weeks, while this Mercury retrograde is occurring, you got to backtrack on a lot of things. You got to do, like maybe do, uh, like I know I have two videos that I, I did for, well, Charity Baird's one of those girls. Uh, I know I got to do some re, re, re um, you know, just more renderings on them because they need to be updated. Stuff like that. So you might be like redoing, renewing, reprising, regenerating, rejuvenating, like all of these words that begin with re. Just remember that. That's what happens during a retrograde. You just find yourself retracing your steps. It can be very frustrating and very tiring, but just know we've got a few weeks of having to deal with that. Also, Venus is at nine degrees of Aries again. You know, I, I, I won't lie. I won't lie. I, I, you know, I, like I said, sexiness is an air. It just is. But I'm also aware that this Venus at nine degrees of Aries is very conquest oriented. And I, you know, I just hope it's not just because of the conquest, that type of thing. So I want people to be aware of that, that that could be occurring for some people that, you know, not that they're not interested in you, but it's about, a, you know, con conquering you. Like, hey, I got that. Like, I got that. So, you know, and, and but are they going to want that after the, the Aries period is over? And that's the question. Uh, that's, that's part of the problem. Because if it is only because of a, a conquest or I, I almost want to say a dare, some people might even be doing that. It's that dastardly. Like, I wonder if I can get her. I dare you. I dare you to see if you can get her. You know, that kind of idea. So just be aware, people, that that kind of stuff is happening. I mean, nobody wants to hear stuff like that, but it is. And so you make sure that whoever you're, um, you're dealing with or, you know, dealing with, that this person is on the up and up. Like, they're... They're sincere in their intentions because that uh, Aries, Venus, it is like the notch on the belt, Venus. Like, I want to get that notch on my belt. And that's a horrible thing for the per person who's getting notched. No one, no one wants to deal with that. That's a horrible feeling to think that that's what's going on. So I just wanted to check and see where my son, because uh, I know that my progress son is in Pisces. I don't know how many of you guys know that. And um, it is on the, the Venus is about to hit it. My, my progress Venus is at, um, excuse me, progress sun is at 12 degrees of Pisces. Oh, oh, my progress Venus is at 29 degrees of, of Capricorn. Are you kidding me? It's exactly sextile the moon. No wonder I was dealing with all the Things. It was dealing with my first house and my Venus, and oh my gosh, my Venus is sexed on my Venus. <gasps> is that why I look in my 30s and my 50s? Oh, I'm so lucky. Okay, maybe that's what I said. I better stop with the luckiness. Jupiter on the ascended. It's amazing. I, I, you guys, I, it's true. You know, sometimes you're like, what's going on? I took some pictures. I'm going to post them now. This is going to sound really weird, and don't think weird of me. But I had taken some pictures of myself and I was looking at them and I thought, oh, I must have had a filter on and I was trying to unfilter it. It wasn't a filter. It was me. And I'm like, it's the realization that whatever that is, Venus sextile Venus is occurring in my life. And I, you know, hopefully I'll get some real true love. I hope I get true that. So anyway, we've got Mars at 29 degrees of, uh, of um, Sagittarius. And that is just minutes away. Just minutes away of going into Capricorn. I've told you guys, it's going to be a whole different vibe when it gets into Capricorn. And we'll, we're going to feel it um, like almost right away since Uranus is at the low, you know, it's at three degrees of Taurus. It's pretty much going to you know, make a, a connection to that, a trine, like right away almost. 
So be aware of that. We're, we're coming up on that in the next couple of weeks, you guys. Mars is going into Capricorn. Prepare yourselves, okay? <laughs> Prepare yourselves. But I will say this, just so that you know, because it's going to happen any day, probably before I get to talk to you again. So what does Mars and Capricorn mean? Well, I always say Mars and Capricorn means that you get to see the big picture, whatever the big picture is. I want to say this, if you are an entrepreneur or you're trying to sell money on say like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of those places, this is the year it's going to go down. Entrepreneurs, my black female sisters that are promoting at Black Women Promote, I know y'all out there. This is the year that it goes down. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not telling y'all no more because I got the insight secret. So I'm telling y'all what I need to tell y'all. Y'all better be on your best. Y'all better be on your best. Get it together. This is the year. I'm telling you, this is the year. Uh, Mars and Capricorn means business. It is big business. It's maybe even taking whatever you're doing off of the internet and making it go bigger, more, you know, have more power behind it. Power is a, another big word for Mars and Capricorn. Um, I think Mars and Sag dealt with a lot of causes. We saw a lot of people dealing with like politics and things of that nature. There was the impeachment trials going on and stuff like that. But uh, Mars and Capricorn is going to be a whole different ball game. Believe me, it's going to be a much more serious situation. That for sure. And by the way, can you see this? Look at this. Look what I can do with my ring. This is telling me a couple of things. One, that this ring is ready to come off. Um, one, because I've lost so much weight that it just comes on and off. Look at that. Can you see that? I've lost that much weight. I literally am not the same woman I was when I got married. And so uh, this will probably fall off one day and I'm just, look, it just comes right off. And I know that's, that means something. That means it's not supposed to be there anymore. But I'm not letting the diamond just float around. I'm gonna keep the diamond on until I get another diamond. That's just the way I feel. Ma must have a diamond on her hand. I'm sorry. I, 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 once you have a diamond on your hand, you don't want to not have a diamond on your hand. If not this diamond, I'll go get another diamond. And that's not heirs either. I hope I'm not coming off like heirs, but I'm just saying. They told me not to do the heirs thing. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, just know. I am serious about the diamond. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Jupiter is at 16 degrees of, uh, 16 degrees and 50 seconds of Capricorn. As I said, it's exactly on my, um, Send it, which is at 17 15, I think. And uh, so, yeah, I, I've been waiting for Jupiter to get there. What I'm not looking forward to is what happens. So, if you have Jupiter going into your first house anytime soon, just be aware that one of the byproducts of Jupiter being in your first house is weight gain. Now, the good thing for uh, people who have that is that Saturn is in Capricorn, which is why I've been losing weight and why I think some Capricorns, you know, we're looking a little bony around the edges. Uh, Saturn in Capricorn makes you tend to lose weight. But um, I think with Jupiter coming, I think it's, you know, I think we'll be healthy. It may be that we're actually going to exercise or pay more attention, um, maybe with uh, things like supplements and vitamins and, you know, more healthier practices for our body. I, I, I believe that. All Capricorns, that's a message for you um, with Jupiter there. Just know. Uh, and as I mentioned, Saturn is in Capricorn as well. It's very heavy. It's very serious. We're going to have Mars there. We got Pluto there. Pluto is technically still conjunct that Saturn, even though it's a little wide. These are some malefic planets, people. These are not you know, Jupiter is the, the, the most fun of these planets. And I'm thank God it's gotten to my ascendant because I've had a rough couple of years. I mean, how many tears can you cry? Right? And I'm, I'm grateful for this Jupiter because I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of tears. I'm tired of sadness. And uh, Saturn and Pluto uh, in the first house tend toward tears and sadness. It's melanch melancholia. That's what they call it. And I've been dealing with melancholia. 
I think there's a, probably a number of Capricorn rising types or Capricorns in general, uh, maybe even Capricorn moons or Capricorn Venus types who have been in deep melancholia, especially if Saturn and Pluto are conjunct a major planet. Um, hopefully this Jupiter is going to give you the boost you need to get out of that. And um, I, as you can see, I'm bouncing all over the place with Jupiter on my ascendant. So I can definitely tell I'm out of it. But for some of you, it's, you know, you're still feeling that melancholia. And so be aware of that. Uranus is at three degrees of Taurus and it is, uh, you know, it's, it's not really making any major aspects or anything at this point. So we're okay. Uh, I think um, the moon is going to probably make the biggest aspect. Well, no, 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 it's already done it, which we're fine, we're fine. The moon's gonna actually be aspecting Chiron. Uh, let's see, so Neptune, 17 degrees of uh, Pisces. And that's that's another good one. That's that sextile, that Jupiter at 1650. So, you know, Neptune, sextile, Jupiter, we've been dealing with that off and on for the last few, few months, actually. It's positive. It's creative. There's a lot of creativity flowing out there right now. A lot. Uh, the North Node is at seven degrees of Cancer, and uh, the Chiron's at three degrees of Aries. Um, that Chiron is, well, it's squared Venus. There could be some kind of issues with love or romance or some kind of stress, it, it, you know, something like that. Squares also can mean sexual activity. So we're back to the sex again. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm saying, Venus Square Chiron, you're healing the problems of your relationship with sex. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, you can heal a lot of things with sex. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, let's get going on the readings. Let's see. Let me see if I actually do have uh, this young lady, Tele Telepa. Let me see if I have her here. If I do, I'm a, she's going to be the first one. Yep, I do. I know she was, she probably wanted a card reading. If, if she plays her cards right, I might actually do a card reading for her. Just let me just see what I'm doing. Let me see what I see here. I might do something different tonight, just, just to be different because I want to be different. All right, series, Ballas, Juno, Vesta, and now they put in Aries, because I always call her Maleficent. The Aries. If I do the cards, I have to go over and get them, though, because they're not over here. Hmm. Okay, so let me show you Telephus chart. I'm going to share that with you. If it allows me, what in the world is going on? You mean to tell me I've been doing this and it's not even working? Lord have mercy. Is this actually working or is it not working? Is it recording or, oh my gosh, is my, re com what's going on with my computer? What is that? Okay, what is going on here? Oh no. Okay, you guys, before I do Telefa, I don't know if this is recording, if anyone can see me or anything, but I could tell you that my Zoom looks like it is doing something, and I am not going to continue recording until I figure out what in the heck is going on. Uh, it, and it does look like it's pretty much, I, I, I'm going to have to shut this down, you guys. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. Okay, so we did. Whatever it recorded, it recorded, okay? So I'll be back. Let me go ahead and shut this down.